Okay, so this one's gonna be, um, I know I'm hard to hear, um, but you might just want to have to turn this up, because, uh, I've taken the proper precautions, but I'm messing around with, uh, right now, sodium ferrocyanide. Now, this is one of the less dangerous things that has the term cyanide in it, but in the right situation can produce hydrogen cyanide gas. Keep in mind this does look different because it's from the 60s and hasn't exactly been uh well yeah. Again, 60s. Probably even earlier actually now that I think about it. So let's move this down. And yeah, it actually looks more like what I uh. Why is it not ever in focus? Here we go. Yeah. Because I have taken the proper precautions, but yeah, this is uh not exactly safe stuff. Because yeah, I'm also working with a couple acids and just mm. I will be storing the acids in a uh, proper uh, container, not a bathtub. Calm down, Mr. White. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah. Kind of interesting to think this, while not one of the more dangerous ones, is technically a one of these cyanides. <laughs> it's just creepy. I've turned off all the stuff that might interfere with this and cause um, issues. That's basically easier way to say it. I made sure that there are no issues. It'll be fine, but yeah, this is kind of spooky. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it there for a second. But yeah. But yeah, um, anyway, this is, uh, I'll leave it about there, because, yeah, I need to clean this off. But yeah, that's, uh, sodium ferrocyanide. So here, we've got some, uh, oh wow, this actually doesn't show very much at all when it comes to volume. We have, uh, magnesium sulfate. Let me just get it into focus. Yeah, all these things I got from a uh, uh, microscope kit from a long time ago. I forgot the actual year, but it was a long time ago. It just hadn't been sold in like a whole long time. Anyway, but yeah. Magnesium sulfate. It's a little more of a... It seems almost stickier than uh, the sodium ferrocyanide. Because it kind of clumps up. The uh, uh, sodium ferrocyanide was also larger chunks. So. Well, kind of larger chunks. The minimum size was more. But yeah, here, this is kind of... Yeah. But yeah. Um... Move it around a bit, shake it a bit, not much. Here's an especially large clump. Right there. It's really hard to keep it in focus because it's 3D. Anyway, but yeah, this is a magnesium sulfate. 
so here, I'm not sure about the half-life of it, so I'm not sure if it's still that, but we got some uranium ore. I'm pretty sure it's still uranium, considering I'm pretty sure the half-life isn't too short. I don't know. But yeah. Uranium ore, that is cool. That is just cool. <sighs> it's warm in here. Um, <laughs> sorry, just, uh, who? Anyway, but yeah, this is, uh, uranium ore. Again, I got it from a microscope kit that's, well, a really, really old microscope kit. Microscope had a mirror in it, and it wasn't even a... Whew. It was probably before computers existed. Kind of old. Before Apple, before Microsoft, before the interwebs. <laughs> but yeah. Um... Kind of cool how there's like yellow and black and then the middle part's brown, but it's like there's various different colors. I know uranium isn't what it, or isn't in actuality what it is de is depicted as in most shows. It's not a glowing green metal that's gonna, yeah, I mean, it, not in most situations. I'm pretty sure you could get it to glow green, but that's not, the, yeah. But yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. It isn't a solid chunk of uranium. That would be a little bit more dangerous. But yeah, this is just uh, the ore that needs to be processed. But still, it's kind of spooky. Again, as I've said before in this video, I'm taking precautions. But yeah. Hey, yeah, uranium ore. So here we got another one. Strontium chloride. Again, I'm just I'm going off of the labels. I can't test any of these because I don't say this is early on in the channel I don't have the materials to do that but I trust it considering uh, it's old <laughs> they, they played with mercury back then anyway give me a second anyway yeah strontium chloride um, not that dangerous its main hazard is an irritant I'm pretty sure but yeah it's a common salt, not like table salt, but it is a salt. But yeah, it's pretty interesting, but also kind of boring. Come on, let's get some of it actually visible. Ugh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, see? It's kind of interesting because it kind of, uh, looks kind of like a crystal or something, but it's kind of interesting. Here's just a big chunk right here. It's just, just a clump of it that kind of stuck together. Okay, but yeah, this is, uh, kind of boring in comparison, so it's strontium chloride. This one's a bit just... Ugh. So, uh, um, I, I w I'm not gonna put this as a guess that, uh, or I guess that object thing, cause you'd never guess it, but that is just. I cut a banana into three parts and left it out for about two months. Weird thing is, it doesn't smell that. Strange. Anyway, but yeah. This, yeah, it's just. A really, really old banana. The other side looks like this. Okay. Yeah. This is a uh, rotten banana. I'm gonna go grab another. Wait, no, there's a divot. There's a divot. Right there. See? That's the inside. Like, it kind of collapsed at that one spot. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, uh, what? What's going on there? That's just nasty. Anyway, let me go grab another chunk. Right, like this. Let's move the microscope up, because I don't want to touch the lens with anything. Oh, that's worse. That's worse. Again, it's lagging. Seriously, I don't know why, but today, this microscope is lagging like you would not believe. 
There we go. But yeah. This this chunk definitely seems worse. <clears throat> um yeah. It really seems bad. Like yeah. And uh yeah, this has been a rotten chunk of banana. <laughs>